Hey, what's up guys? Today you're gonna be learning about the instance of keyword in Java. This is the longest my hair's been since middle school, guys. In middle school, I had the Bieber haircut just like this, and I'd go like this, and I was really annoying. Learn Java in just a few days with simple follow-along lessons by me. Try this course out for free in the link in the description. So let's start by making a new Java project. We'll call it instance of keyword. Hit finish, and then inside of there, we'll make a new class. Call it instance of again, hit the main method and finish. Instance of is a keyword like this. When you type it, it turns purple. It returns a Boolean, true or false, whether what's on the left is an instance of the thing on the right, meaning if it's a class, a subclass, or an interface. So we'll practice with the class we have now. Let's rename this though, because <laughs> it's called instance of and that's gonna confuse us. So let's just go to refactor, rename, and we'll call it something like my object and let it do its thing. So what we can do is say whether the thing on the left is an instance of the thing on the right. In this case, let's make my object o equals new my object. And then say, let's say if o is an instance of my object. This returns a Boolean, so it's confused on like, hey, what are you doing? You have to do something with it. You can't just be in one line like this. So let's print out that result. Save and run. And we get true. What happens is we make an object called O, which is a type my object from this class we have here. We take O, we say if it's an instance of the class, then return true or false. In this case, it is, so we return true. This checks if the thing on the right is either a class, subclass, or interface of the thing on the left. So let's do an example of a subclass. Let's say we have a class bird, and then we have a class eagle that extends bird. This extends keyword means inheritance. It means whatever inside of the bird's parentheses, it knows. So whatever a bird can do, an eagle can do as well. For example, if we have a method sing, and it printed sing, singing, then eagle would have the sing method as well. So now instead of making my object, let's make an eagle. And this eagle may be related to a lot of different objects, or it could not be. We don't know, but that could be important to us to see what kind of methods it knows and what classes it's related to. So we can use the instance of keyword to help us figure that out. So we'll see if this eagle object is an instance of a bird. Save it and run it. And we get true again, because it's a subclass. The class on the left is either a class, subclass, or interface of the class on the right, bird. Let's try this again, but with a null keyword just to see what happens. Say we do eagle e equals null. Null means there's nothing there. So if we say e is an instance of bird again, what'll happen is we'll get false. Since e is equal to nothing, there's no constructor to make the object. So it just kind of doesn't exist. So e doesn't exist. So how can you take the instance of something if it doesn't exist? And so that's why we get false because e on the left is null. Let's set that back up. Now let's say we have an interface. Let's say that um, bird is now an interface instead of a class. An interface means that all the methods inside don't have code in it. So it's basically a list of methods instead of implemented methods. Since these methods aren't implemented, it doesn't really make sense to use the extends keyword. And in fact, you can't. Because it's not really extending what the bird has, it's actually implementing or putting code inside. And that's why we use the implements keyword when you make a class from an interface. You get a red underline here because we actually have to put code inside that sing method. So we can just click add unimplemented methods. Adds a little setup for us with this fancy tag, but it's not necessary. We'll just put our sing print statement in here. And in our main method, we have an eagle e equal to a new eagle. So it makes this eagle object, and then we say, is that eagle an instance of a bird still? Bird's now an interface. So if we save and run, 
we get true. And that's the instance of keyword in a nutshell. I honestly don't really use it, but I understand why it's used. It's to help you make a quick check if the object is related to another one. So you could use it in an if else statement really easily. And that's really the main case. So I hope this helped you. If it did, please leave a like. I'll see you in the next video and I hope you have a great rest of your day.